Hi Steve here, today I want to talk to you about managing contacts on your uh, Android uh, tablet or phone and in this uh, video I'm going to be using the Nexus 7 tablet and to look at your contacts you go to the all apps at the bottom of the screen and you're looking for the people which is there there's the people app, you click that and that opens up and it shows you the uh, contacts on your uh, tablet or your phone. Now a few things to say about this is that I haven't actually added any of these contacts manually to the to this tablet and um, they've actually been pulled in from the various online accounts uh, that are configured on this uh, on this tablet. So if I look at the accounts that are configured on the tablet by going to the icon here, the menu icon here, and going to accounts. You can see I've got a couple of Google accounts, these are a couple of Gmail accounts, and I've got a Skype account uh, on this phone. So it's actually synchronizing uh, contacts from these three accounts. Now, it works very well. The synchronization works very well on the Google accounts. It doesn't work so well on the Skype account, and I'll, I'll show you that uh, briefly later on. So, these the contacts manager basically pulls in the contacts from the online accounts that you've configured to use your tablet or you've configured to use your your phone. Okay, so those are the contacts on my. Uh, tablet. Now, let, if I look at the Google account, ah. and there are the contacts there on my Google account. I'm using uh, a test account, and you can see the one of the contacts there. Let's just go to all of the contacts. You can see I've got the three contacts there, and you can see them appearing on the phone. And I just drag it to the side. I'll just pick, pick out the test user one. There it is, down there. There's the test user. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to modify this um, test user contact. I'm going to modify it on, on my Gmail account and I'm going to show you it, how it syncs back into my uh, Android uh, contact list. So let me go to, you can see it here, by the way, it's got text user 1A and it's got that Hotmail account. So let's just change the email address. And we'll just make him. That's done. So the change is made on, uh, on the Gmail account. And coming back to the uh, the Android uh, contact list, you can see it's already been made there. It's already synchronized. Now, if it hadn't been synchronized already, I could actually go and click on the up here on the menu items, and I could go to the accounts, and I could select the particular account, which is that one there. and I can synchronize it by it in the sync by it in the sync now okay so that's the one way of doing it let's just go back on the screen so that's modifying it on the on your Gmail account on your PC and it gets synced back onto your your tablet or your your phone. So let's do it the other way now. We'll modify it on our uh, tablet and we'll sync it back to our, our Gmail account. So let's select it. Uh, wrong thing. I don't want to email it. Uh, so we're going to we're going to edit it. Sorry, click the right icon, Steve. Okay, now I'm going to change the
So we'll have a UK. Okay, we're done. We're the done in the top corner here. And that's done there. So we're abc.co.uk now. And the contact's been saved. Now let's go back to our contact list over here on the on Gmail and let's look at the contacts and you can see just that you change there and it's been upgraded to .co.uk so that works very well the Gmail accounts uh, work very well with Android now I've actually got two Gmail accounts configured on this tablet and both of them are synchronized so the contact list of the other account is also synchronized back into the Android tablet now if I create if I create new contacts by clicking on the add contact which is here so if I click on that and add a new contact that account will the, the contact details will be synchronized with the primary account and the primary account is the Steve's Android Guide account so it's it's going to be um, synchronized with that one so that will then appear here uh, as I say it synchronizes one way with both accounts sorry well, yeah, it's one way with both both accounts so the two Google accounts that I've got configured on there any changes in those made in those will actually synchronize down to my tablet but it's only one way going back so any changes or any edits I do or do, sorry not any edits uh, any new users I create on the tablet will only be synchronized with the primary account okay so that's that bit of it now it also is pulling in users from Skype so if I actually look at the screen you can't tell from this screen um, that it is they are from Skype unless you actually go on to them sorry let's go on to one of them and you can actually instant message or you can call them through through this app here so just by clicking on the appropriate thing here so I can instant message them click on there and it automatically comes up with instant message screen goes the wrong way around but not to worry so let's go back okay now let me go and show you Skype on my PC now there's Skype on my PC now you can see the contacts that I've got here now these contacts here that are created in Skype are actually a proper Skype accounts so you can actually instant messages them you can call them via Skype they've got Skype um, IDs now these accounts here that I've created um, these are just phone numbers so I can actually phone them via Skype um, but they would actually they go out to a mobile phone or to a, a landline they don't go to a Skype, Skype ID now the problem with it is if I go back and look at my all contacts you can't see some of these test 2 and test 1 don't appear in this list on here and the reason they, they I think they don't anyway is that they were created after I'd in installed the Sky app on the um, tablet and it seems to only uh, sync when you actually do the install um, it doesn't do it afterwards even though it should do it afterwards but it doesn't work very well um, so that's the only reason I can think of so it's, it doesn't seem to be working very well with the the Skype the initial contacts seem to be brought in but after that uh, nothing seems to happen but if you go to the Skype app on the tablet and it's already open so there's a Skype app on the tablet again it's gonna go around and can I I can get it going the right way around there you can see on the tablet there you can see those test 1 and test 2 um, contacts have been pulled into the Skype app they're not being synchronized between the Skype app on the tablet and the Android phone book on the tablet uh, and I say I don't know why 
and at the moment I'm not going to worry too much about that. So let's go back again. I just want to show you now um, how to join contacts now because uh, it's pulling in uh, contacts from various locations you could finish up with duplicates and so it's useful to be able to combine um, two or more uh, contacts together into a single single contact. So I've actually created a, a couple of accounts, test 1C and test 1D, and this one's actually got uh, an address attached to it, and this one isn't. So ne what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, join these two accounts together. And now let's go back to our Android, and for some reason they're not showing up in the all contacts display so if I go to the menu item on the on the top here and then I go to contacts the display now currently it's set to all contacts and I'm going to set it to the account that I'm looking at which is the Steve's Android guide account and you can see those contacts appearing there so now I'm going to join those two contacts together you can see the details of the one and you can see the details of the other one there and it's just got an address there so I'm going to join 1C to 1D and 1C is basically going to be the primary account so we go edit we're clicking on the edit icon and then we're going to click here on the menu item again and there's an option there called join so we're going to join it and then we're going to search the contact so I'm going to type in test until I find the 1D so I've, I found the 1D there so I'm going to click on the 1D and it just says the contacts have been joined there we are there so now I'm going to click done which is in the top left hand corner and you can see now the test 1C is coming up and it's got email address uh, two email addresses there and it's got the location address which is pulled in from the the 1D which I showed you earlier okay let's get back to the list okay there we are there you can see the 1D has disappeared off this list here and we just got the test 1C so before I finish off this video I just want to just show you a few more of the settings and here the main sort of menu items you can search for contacts you can add contacts you can edit contacts and this is the main menu so if you click on this you have an option of sharing deleting placing on the home screen contacts to display where you can change your contact lists uh, you can import and export contacts you can look at the accounts settings and from there you can actually sync and you can go to the settings there isn't actually much there let's go settings and click it and the only thing you can do really is display the uh, display options sort list and view contact names as there's not much there so let's go back okay uh, to summarize really the the contacts uh, on your Android tablet or phone are basically pulled in from your online accounts uh, into your contacts uh, list uh, on your phone or your on your tablet and you can manage them from your uh, phone or you can manage them from your your PC depending on what contacts they are where they are from Skype or where they're from uh, Gmail etc and the best place to manage them really is in the original application so if I was managing the contacts for the Gmail I'd go sign into my Gmail account usually on my PC and I manage them from there and let them sync back onto, onto my tablet I would manage them uh, from my tablet uh, that's probably because I'm primarily a PC user and not a, a, a primarily a tablet user so that's where I, I tend to manage them from and oh, one thing before I uh, finish that I forgot to show you um, 
and it's to do with this is the fact that uh, you can delete accounts. So you can delete accounts from the original application. Um, so I can delete them from here, from the, the Gmail, or I can actually delete them from here. So I could go and delete that. Now, some accounts you can't delete. They're actually classified as read-only. And that is because the accounts aren't actually created um, in the application in the on the Android tablet. Uh, an example of that would be the Skype accounts. So if I were to display the Skype accounts, so here are the Skype accounts. If I try to delete these accounts, so I'm going to delete it. and it comes up with this message you can't delete contacts from a read-only account uh, you can hide them so basically it doesn't sync back up to the, to the Skype account and delete them on Skype uh, it will only um, remove them from the, uh, the address list on your on your tablet now it does hide them so if I did click OK it would actually hide that and I wouldn't be able to see it the only problem is I haven't found a way of actually getting them back again. So they they still exist. If you went to Skype, onto your Skype, on on your PC, you could still use those uh, contacts, but they wouldn't appear on your tablet, and you couldn't use them on on your tablet. As I say, I I haven't found a way of unhiding them, and I've searched the internet, and it doesn't seem to be a very uh, easy way of actually getting them back. Uh, there are a few uh, drastic ways of resetting your thing. Uh, your tablet but I'm not going to go to that um, pain just to get a contact back so be careful uh, don't delete them don't don't hide them uh, manage them from the application where they were created which really is, is Skype so I won't manage the Skype contacts through through this okay so I'm just going to cancel that one and come out of it so um, that's the end of the video I hope I make uh, uh, made uh, managing the contacts a little easier on your Android tablet. Until the next video, uh, bye.